I have some interesting info about Lumina Neo and its AI tools. Let's see what those things are. Hi there, my name is Peter Forsgaard and I am a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And a small disclaimer, this video is about the new AI tools that were revealed and uh, they told us how they work and such like that. But if you want to see a video about what I think about their software release policy, then you might want to watch that. But let's get into the first AI tool that they told us about. Relight AI. Relight AI uses 3D depth maps to identify the photograph and then with the sliders you can relight the scene. And as you can see from this example, it works quite well. But we have to remember that these are of course screenshots and images that are uh, uh, provided by Skylum. And once the software is uh, actually delivered, we can see how great this works. But this looks really promising. As you can see from this example is that uh, Relight works exactly the way that uh, a photographer would light the scene or enhance the light afterwards if, if, if it's not possible to, to relight the scene at the, at the place with some lights. Also, what I want to say is that this is not a actual screenshot from the software that will be public somewhere later this year. These are just mockups and examples of, of what they showed us. But as you see from this, this image that it will recognize the subject and I will talk about the subject recognition a bit later when I talk about the mask tool or the mask AI that they also, also showed us. As you can see the, the light on the face on the kids in this temple or whatever this place is, is real natural and that's how most of us would relight the scene on the spot or uh, manually in Photoshop and other image editing softwares. But with Relight, it looks like, or Relight AI, it looks like it's going to be automatically done the way we want it. And as you see, the background is also a bit darker. So it recognizes what's in front and what's in the back. And that's, that's something remarkable. And if this really works the way it worked on this image, it's, it's going to be a game changer in many ways. And before we get into the mask AI, let's talk about a few words about layers. I personally like layers because it is a way to stack different effects on top of each other. You can you can uh, blend several images with that, and it looks it looked like the layers work exactly the same way as they uh, as we know how they are, except they're going to be faster because of the the um, new engine, the new image engine that works. A bit different than than the previous ones, or and and also with the other software. So it's totally a new new image engine, <laughs> image engine, and uh, there's also some other stuff that that can be done a bit differently with the, with the layers. But the basic idea of layers are the same as you've used to in in other image editing software, except for the speed, as I said. But now I think we have to go to the mask AI, which I think is the most exciting thing of course, with Relight, but they are kind of related in a way. But let's talk about Mask AI. The basic idea here is that Luminar Neo will recognize subjects. So masking a road is really easy. Just choose the road in the menu and it will mask the road. And of course, you can invert this. So if you want to select everything else except the road, then you just, you know, select rows and invert it. And I think this is totally cool. Can you imagine, okay, a road mask here is not going to be that hard, but it takes some time. If you can do it with the push of a button or or click of a mouse, why not? Here you can see how it can select the mountains. You just select the mountains from the menu and you have a mask. This is also a thing that they will recognize in the first release of the, of the Luminar Neo software. You can expect these subject recognition masks. You have portrait mask, sky mask, and sky mask is something that will replace uh, sky replacement. So you don't have sky replacement, but you have sky mask, and then you can replace the sky with with the sky mask. So it's going to work a bit different. The the feature is there, but it's a bit different. Then you have, uh, have water mask, mountains, architectural structures, and vegetation. That's what they are expecting to release in the first release of the software when it's actually actually here. And then they've said that in the second one, we will have roads and vehicles. These are still something that they've said that are coming, but 
they did not promise that everything will be in the first release or in the second release, but they, these are on the roadmap and, and they will ship versions that have these as soon as possible, of course, after the first release. And they also told us it worked as a plugin and it will work as a plugin in Lightroom, Classic, Photoshop from CS5 upwards, Mac OS Photos and Microsoft Photos. So it's a good thing that it works as a plugin because uh, I myself use Lightroom Classic as my main image editing software. And if I can get a, you know, just to use it as a plugin and do some things and come back, then I think it's uh, it's worth it. In all in all, I think that Skylum has introduced us some really interesting AI features in, in Neo. And of course we have to uh, remember that this is only their words and how they how, how they see it and, and, and their examples. We haven't had any real world examples done by different photographers and image editors. So we will see by the end of the year how good these are. But uh, if they work as they say, uh, I think it's quite remarkable and it's going to be a game changer and image editing will be a lot faster than it used to be. Like I can see myself using these tools, but of course the, the final decision is being made when I actually can use them myself to my images. Because of course, when they're demoing something, they've taken the images that works the best. If, if you know, it's always like that. And when they're demoing and then you have your own images it might not be as good, but that, that remains to be seen, but very promising, I have to say. And as I said, I'm not really happy about the way they, you know, launch these softwares like a year ago, you had Luminar AI and now all of a sudden you got this. So why did they release Luminar AI? But, you know, I, I, I'll put a link to the video that where I have a bit of a rant about their uh, software release policy. You can find it in the description and, and also in the end screen of this video. But then about the deal that they have. Unfortunately, the early bird deal is gone. And now they have a second deal, which of course the price is a bit higher. And here you can see the prices that they have right now for the for the software. And I do have an affiliate link in the description below if you want to try it. I think this is still a good deal, even though it's not as good as it was with the early birds. And you, remember, you have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you if you decide to get it now, then you once you get the software, you have 30 days to test it. And if you don't, if you're not satisfied, you can get your money back. But if you are, then just keep the software and everything's good. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.